Okay, y'all. Per many requests, we're looking at Clark and Daw. The front fell off. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what to expect, but uh, be an Aussie, an Aussie classic like this. I'm sure it will be funny. This is from the Clark and Daw, so it'll be linked in the description down below. Let's take a look. <laughs> Collins, thanks for coming in. It's a great pleasure. Thank you. This ship that was involved in the incident off Western Australia this week. Yeah, the one the front if... fell off. Yeah. Yeah, that's not very typical. I'd like to make that point. Well, how is it untypical? Well, there are a lot of these ships going around the world all the time, and very seldom does anything like this happen. I just don't want people thinking that tankers aren't safe. Was this tanker safe? Well, I was thinking more about the other ones. The ones that are safe? Yeah, the ones the front doesn't fall off. Well, but... if this wasn't <laughs> safe, why did it have 80,000 tonnes of oil on it? Well, I'm not saying it wasn't safe. It's just perhaps not quite as safe as some of the other ones. Why? Well, some of them are built so the front doesn't fall off at all. Well, wasn't this built so the front wouldn't fall off? Well, obviously not. How do you know? Well, because the front fell off and 20,000 tonnes of crude oil spilled into the sea court fire. It's a bit of a giveaway. I just like to make the point that that is not normal. Well, what sort of stand... This is this is hilarious. First of all, I love how like how fluid this is. It's like rapid fire between these guys, and uh, this, the first like couple points was going in circles. This is amazing. I, I don't even want to interrupt this. This is amazing, guys. Oh my god. Sea court fire. He's just so straight shooter. I just like to make the point that that is not normal. Well, what sort of standards are these uh, oil tankers built to? Oh, very rigorous maritime engineering standards. What sort of thing? Well, the front's not supposed to fall off for a start. And what other things? <laughs> well, there are uh, regulations governing the uh, materials that they can be made of. What materials? Well, cardboard's out. Yeah. <laughs> no cardboard derivatives. Like paper? No paper. No string, no sellotape. Rubber? No, rubber's out. Um, they've got to have a steering wheel. There's a minimum crew requirement. What's well, that's minimum? a relief. Oh, one, I suppose. So the allegations that they're just designed to carry as much oil as possible, uh, oh, and how are the consequences? I mean, that's ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. These are very, very strong vessels. So what happened in this case? Well, the front fell off in this case, by all means, but it's very unusual. But Senator Collins, why did the front book fall off? Well, a wave hit it. A wave hit it? <laughs> a wave hit the ship. <laughs> Is that unusual? Oh, yeah. At sea... Chance in a million. So what do you do to protect the environment what? in cases well, like this? the ship was towed outside the environment. Into another environment. This guy is a master at, like, deflecting. Like a master. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. It's been towed beyond the environment. It's yes, not in the environment. A, no, but from one environment to another environment. No, it's beyond the environment. It's not in an environment. It well, has it been towed be beyond the environment. Well, what's out there? Nothing's out there. Well, there must be something there out there. There is nothing out there. All there is is sea and birds and fish. And, and 20,000 tonnes of crude oil. And what else? And a fire. And anything else? And the part of the ship that the front fell off. Oh. But there's nothing else out there. Senator Collins, thanks it's for joining us. complete it. void. Yeah, we're out of time. The environment's perfectly <laughs> safe. We're out of time. <laughs> yeah. Can you book me a cab? <laughs> didn't you come in a Commonwealth car? Yes, I did. What happened? Well, the front fell off. <laughs> we have the opportunity. <laughs> oh my God, this has got to be one of my Insta favourites. Insta favorites. This was suggested by probably a dozen people or more on different realms here, uh, different apps, different comments, all these different things. So thank you guys as always. Oh my God. <laughs> Where do I even start? That was absolute gold. Like I said, the fluidity between those two, it was like rapid fire. It was almost like, whoa, whoa, I got to keep up with this. And it was hilarious. In the way that guy was just straight faced, super quick, like, oh dude. That was so hilarious. I'm going to have to check out more. I am definitely going to have to check out more. That was like crisp, top-tier Aussie comedy there. That was great. That was absolutely great. This is, of course, going to be linked in the description down below. And uh, if you don't know them, I highly recommend you check them out because I'm recommending myself to check it out more of this. That was really fun. <laughs> Tell me if you remember this, if this is one of your favorites. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, link other stuff like this. Fingers freaking crossed that this makes it to YouTube because, uh, you know, that's why I don't literally just rapid fire, you know, uh, do reactions that have to do with comedy and, and different things like that because some of them are good and some of them don't, aren't even allowed. They're blocked and all this BS. So just hopefully this has no issues. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this. And, uh... Hopefully this gets a lot of views. Like, that was just funny. That was super funny. <laughs> Please throw a thumbs up and a like on this video. Help it out. I do appreciate it uh, because I know you got to laugh out of that. Come on. You had to have. And uh, subscribe. Join our amazing community that, uh, well, we always have fun videos like this uh, because of you guys. So thank you so much for that. Check this description for this original video and other ways you can interact with me. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. <laughs>